I had someone send me through a tweet today, and I, I thought this was kind of interesting because I wrote this post uh, a couple of days ago uh, about how I was the world's greatest lover and other ridiculous security claims, and basically said, look, you know, me putting on a T-shirt saying that I am awesome in bed is really not that much different to a vendor putting a logo on the website saying that their security is awesome. So I assume this was in response to that, and Andy said here, so when an SSL vendor is saying stuff like this, does that give us any hope? So let's have a look at what this SSL vendor is saying. And clearly this is Komodo, and someone here has called them on using the SSL site seal and serving it up over HTTP, which is kind of a little bit ironic, right? Because you're saying, hey, our site is secure, it's served over a protected connection, uh, here is the logo that proves it, and it's served over an unprotected connection. And Komodo has sort of said, Okay, the positive of the SSL seal is a static image, not a dynamic point-to-point -point verified trust logo, therefore doesn't need to be HTTPS. I, I'm not sure I really fully understand that, but let's go and have a look at the seal and we'll see what's going on because it's a kind of odd scenario. And well, Hang on a moment, this is, this is unusual. So here's the seal, and the seal is just trust me SSL, and it runs on pixie dust, which is which is unusual because it's not what you expect from a, an SSL provider. I mean, it's it's their website, it's positivessl.com, but okay, right, so they serve it over HTTP. And here's the point, right, because when we serve this over HTTP, there is no confidence that the content that you're looking at hasn't been manipulated. And I mean, as a point, we can drill down into this, and this is all live, right? I mean, I'm clicking on links and, well, I mean, this is a great video. Clearly, nothing to do with SSL, but the point is, is that, again, you have absolutely no integrity of the content of the site. So effectively, what I've done is I've man in the middle it. So the experience that you're seeing here is just me browsing around in the browser, but clearly what's happening in the background is something else is being injected into the page. And the point of all that is simply this. When you put logos on a page that say your site is secure, it does not mean that your site is secure. When you put an HTTPS website in the address bar and you actually get a certificate from a valid certificate authority, that gives you some confidence that things haven't been manipulated. But logos alone, well, they might as well just end up being pixie dust.